All right, keeping retail connected, saving money by uh, replacing your POTS lines. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Mark Indelicato, the content marketing specialist here at RCN Technologies, uh, and I'm happy to bring you this webinar, uh, Keeping Retail Connected, Save Money by Replacing Your POTS Lines. Uh, this is something that I feel has been uh, really growing in this past, uh, past year or two. Uh, bringing us to our hosts, uh, Gary Manise, Director of Sales here at RCN Technologies. He is a uh, subject matter expert in POTS lines uh, and in retail, actually, I should say. Um, and then I'm Mark Indelicato, content marketing specialist. How's it going, Gary? I'm doing well, Mark. Good yeah. afternoon, everyone. Yeah, good morning good. for those that may be in the morning time zones. Yeah, would you agree with what I said about the, uh, the POTS lines really kind of blowing up the past year or two as far as replacing them? Yeah, I, what's interesting is that uh, I'm in Kentucky where um, things are aged really well, like bourbon. Yeah. And POTS line, not so much. They haven't, they have not aged very well over the years. POTS in retail. Gary, you ready to uh, kick us off? Yeah, let's get going. Awesome. Cool. So, all right. So let's talk a little bit about what is POTS line, plain old telephone service, uh, copper POTS line. It's basically an analog voice line over a copper twisted pair. And this is something that's been around for a long time, about as long as I've been alive, uh, since the 1880s. <laughs> and so it's been around for a long, long time. It's very reliable. Uh, um, it's been a standard in the industry for a very, very long time in the sense that, um, you know, before cellular came around in the early 80s, you know, that these these different systems would rely on these copper wires to run voice, run all kinds of different uh, devices and technology, fax machines, when they became prevalent into the market and, you know, elevator call boxes. And there's a lot of things like that. But the nature of POTS line, the nature of the analog line is something that's been reliable, uh, up till about the last probably three to four years, somewhat affordable, uh, but they've kind of uh, lost their luster as far as cost and maintenance. So let's go to the next slide. Yeah. So how are the POTS lines today defined? So there are 36 million active POTS lines in the market today. That's a lot of POTS lines. And the cost of these POTS line range because there's a different, there's a huge range of people who actually offer POTS line. If you remember the uh, Arbok, non Arbok days of the AT&T divestiture, you know, it used to be just Ma Bell gave you your POTS line and then they had the divestiture and things started really getting interesting in the analog business. Um, you had small little telephone companies in small towns. You've got uh, some of the traditional carriers that you can think of, Windstream and some of the bigger guys today that are supporting these POTS line. And they were lucrative for them. $65 to $100 per month is a pretty good business considering how many things out there, 36 million devices or 36 million POTS lines. It's a really lucrative business. So there's really no incentive from them to drive costs down. And there's really not much you could to actually drive the cost down. So, the, but the challenge now is we're starting to see the sunsetting of POTS line. They've got a transition. And the interesting thing about POTS line is they've been the last in this digital transformation. And if you think about all the things that we do today that are digitally working today, POTS line has been the last bastion of true analog service. Mm -hmm. Next slide. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I want to point out there is just that uh, expiration date of August, uh, August 2nd, 2022. I mean, we're a couple it's days away, up. 13 months. Yeah. That's, yep. that's a good point. Good point, mm -hmm. Mark. It's coming up. Yeah. So if you look at the ecosystem, you know, what supports, what are on these POTS lines? You know, traditional voice line, less and less voice lines today we're seeing. Typically, if it's a voice line, they'll call it a bat phone or some type of backup phone. It's not like back in the day when you had a phone up against the wall in your house and you had the 20, 30, 40 foot cord that you could walk around the living room with, but you're always attached to the cord. 
You know, that was typical analog. And we're seeing less than that, but we still see a lot of fax machines. Every elevator call box today is, is on an analog line today. Alarm systems, uh, call boxes. So if you remember going to college and you're seeing those blue light call boxes, all those have a POS line attached to them. Panic buttons, POS systems are still some. Um, a lot of uh, out-of-band management, meter reading, HVAC systems, SCADA apps, they all running on these analog lines. And it's, again, if we go back to 65 to to $100 range of a POTS line, it's kind of expensive to maintain some of these legacy systems on that. Absolutely. Let's go to the next slide. Yeah. So, yeah, common pain points. We talked about the cost of them. Here's the other thing is lack of support. There's really not much motivation from the suppliers really to continue with these. And a lot of people, they don't know that their POTS line are actually not working. That's really a, a, a big issue. And a lot of times they don't know it's working at the wrong time, meaning they're in an emergency situation or they're in a critical situation. Or, you know, now all of a sudden they, there's something just not right and they can't understand why it's not working. And it's usually not in the most convenient time. So these are some serious pain points that people are starting to experience when it comes to the actual POTS line area. Next slide. Yeah, we talked problems, so now we'll uh, we'll talk Let's, solutions. How do we yeah. fix it, right? Exactly. What do we do to, to, to address this? So if you look at the architecture of most POTS line and how it works. You see the big X up there in the top middle of the, of the page there. That's the old telephone service with the poles. You know, we're all familiar with that. We've seen that everywhere. And so typically that's coming into a building, which we would call the DMARC location, to a 66 block. And really the 66 block is this plastic piece. And the reason why it's called a 66 block is because that's what its part number was from a Western Electric probably back in 1880. Um, so it, it is just the part number for what it is. And like the industry adopted the 66 block. So you'll go into a telecom closet or a telephone room and you'll see a 66 block up against the wall and you'll actually see the uh, lines coming in punched in on a copper punch onto these 66 blocks, usually twisted pair. And, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a twisted pair connected to the 66 block providing dial tone. And so what we do from a solution standpoint is, is we're replacing that 66 block. We're, we're removing that analog phone line wiring, that 66 block just sits on the wall, looks, looks great historically, but next to it comes this nice POTS line solution kit that gets mounted right next to it. And all those different devices, the fax machines, the elevator call box, whatever it is coming into that 66 block, that DMARC location gets converted and, and is now running over a POTS over LTE kit. And what's, what about that kit is it's got a battery. It's got SIP support, so it's, it's reproducing that dial tone. It's giving you all this on a very reliable, certified network, certified system. You know, the whole solution is using enterprise-grade uh, routing, SIP, battery, everything is UL tested, UL uh, certified. So we're using systems in place today that are certified, ready to go day one, and there's really no transition. There's nothing you really have to do other than us come in, install this box, take all those devices that we're relying on that analog and move it to this kit. And then there's some more, uh, there's some more, uh, advantages and benefits of doing this as well so let's and then after that primarily it's, it's running on the wireless network re, very reliable network rarely do we see the wireless network if ever go down and so you, you're going to be able to rely on that and then we have the cloud management so now we give you visibility you're now able to make sure confirm verify that those POTS lines are working let's go to the next slide So, you know, we, we talked a little bit about the architecture and, and we've talked a little bit about use cases. So really we're taking all those things that were, were working on the analog lines, now they're working on LTE seamlessly. 
so there, you, you, you're not having a downturn. You're not having a any type of connection loss. Your 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 use cases, these different connections, are working all the time. They're just working on the wireless network. They're very reliable. Combined with SIP, it's very simple solution for us. It's certified. It's reliable. And, and the best part about it, it's affordable. So if we go, we've talked a little bit about the use cases, elevators, and you're going, well, how do elevators work in a retail location? Well, if you think about Macy's or you think about Dillard's, you know, they're, they have their multi-floor locations. They have two or three elevators in each location. And so they have to have call boxes. You know, if you're a casual retail, casual retail or casual restaurant, either one, more likely, you're going to have two to four things today sitting on an analog line that you're going to want to move off those analog lines and into a more cost-effective, secure, visible solution. So when you're looking at retailers such as if you're a hotel or if you're a restaurant or if you're a uh, casual retailer with a boutique, more likely you've got a fire alarm, you've got a panic button. You may have a couple of other things, a fax machine that's running on these analog lines, and you're paying, you know, again, at the low end, the low end we're seeing is $45 for an analog line. You know, average is $65 to $100 for these, these different uh, lines. The other part about this solution, which is really nice, is it consolidates it into a, a single technology. And even though analog is a single technology, you have to you have to source those from so many different sources, and your variable cost and your variable support and all those things that are variable today become consistent in an LTE solution. You've got the same solution running across the same board, gives you the continuity of visibility, the continuity of, of security, and the continuity of support. And that's important. You're not getting variable cost. You're not getting variable support. And you're not getting variable visibility. This is all, it, it really gets into a nice continuity solution. Yeah. Uh, one, one thing I want to kind of point out, uh, just to tie it back in with what you said before, you know, a lot of these things, if you don't notice um, they're down until they're down, something like being stuck in an elevator and then when you go to call, you know, and then that's being down as well, that would be a, a terrifying situation, right? A double whammy. Um, yeah. And then, um, you know, if you have any like food food and beverage in uh, in your retail location, if, if your HVAC system went down overnight and you maybe had, you know, uh, you know, produce sitting on the counter or, or something like that, you know, if they got real hot inside, that could, that could ruin that for sure. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of people watching this probably can, you know, look at these specific ones and be like, "Oh man, if this went out in my location, you know, this would be this would be horrible." So that monitoring too really is nothing to uh, take for granted. Yeah, you're in an emergency situation and you have an alarm system or an emergency call box, and you think help is coming when you know it never really connected. Right, it is is you know a disheartening situation. So knowing again, having that visibility, having that continuity of service is key absolutely let's go to the next slide you got it all right so the pain point resolution we've talked a little bit about the support but let's talk about cost for a second because we've hit on what the solution is from an architecture standpoint enterprise grade uh, very reliable uses the wireless networks of the carriers out there that are extremely reliable uh, so we have that part from a reliability standpoint. Let's talk about cost and, and what we're seeing in these solutions. You know, our sol our kit, our pots over uh, pots over LTE solution really reduces operating cost immediately. We typically will see anywhere from 20, 25 percent upfront savings, in some cases 50, 60 percent savings uh, right off the bat. And so you're not having to do a huge capex expense. It is taking what you already have, getting us to come out to install, do an installation. You know, there's the, we, we charge a nominal fee for the installation. And then after that, you've got immediate savings. You're not having to wait for the savings. The savings are immediate when it comes to OPEX. You don't have to plan a capex budget. All you have to do is 
set an appointment with us. Let us look at what your POTS line situation looks like. Let us get a solution in, in there and, and let's start saving you money. Again, immediate savings off the bat with, uh, with going over LTE. Again, it's fully supported. What does that mean? It means now we have remote management of this solution. So now we can tell that you know, the POTS line is up and running, that these lines are connected. We have you know, SIP recording and SIP reporting to know that those lines are up and running. So we have this multi-layer support uh, in a cloud system that gives us all comfort that the system is up and running and we're monitoring it. It's set up with alerts, with notifications. So if something is down, we know to what we need to do to fix it quickly. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, we talked about the pain points earlier, high cost, not being supported, no visibility. Well, now what we're looking at is a low entry point, low entry cost, immediate savings on your monthly operating expense, fully supported by RCN NOC, and remote services that allows us to examine, monitor, and, and really monitor the system. It is sitting there while it's running. There are systems in place behind it that make sure that everything is up and running. Power goes out, there's a battery kicks in. So it's, again, can't emphasize the reliability part of POTS line replacement. Yeah, one of the things that I really like about this too is, you know, you were talking about the low cost from a uh, like a month to month sort of um, perspective, but uh, you know, there's there's like no hardly any uh, infrastructure, kind of like you were talking about earlier, right? You know, it's not like you're ripping out old lines to replace them with you know new fiber lines or something like that. Uh, it's literally just you know like a plug and play, right? Essentially, um, it's essentially a plug and play. Now look, yeah. it's it, it 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 takes someone like us to come in. Uh, there are some complexities to it. Oh, absolutely. In the sense of a lot of times when we get into an installation, what we find is the 66 block has 10 lines attached to it, and they're really only using four things on it. So you have to go through and understand which of these lines are live and which of these lines, frankly, that you've been paying for that you didn't really need. So oh, that's wow. another savings opportunity for you, for you, the retailer, you, the customer, you, the end user. Mm -hmm. is you may have been paying for 10 lines all this time and only had four things connected to it. And so, you know, it, there's some of those added benefits of savings. So we come in, it, it's, not a, it, it's not a difficult, challenging uh, installation itself. The setup, we have to look and make sure where we know where the POTS lines are, where the DMARC location is, and then power. We got those three things put together. It's a, it's a simple installation but it does require a technician to come in to understand that where these SIP lines are connecting to these replacing these analog lines. So that's really the complexity of it. Absolutely. It's a simple, complex solution, Mark. Yeah, exactly. You got to love this. So let's talk about, uh, again, the nature of pots in retail. Uh, I would say that just about every retail location that is customer facing has some type of POTS line in it today. Could be as low as one for a fire panel, could be as many as six to eight, depending on all the different things that they're supporting. Typically what we're gonna see in retail is about four to five maximum POTS lines in, even though the 66 block, again, they have 10 to 20 lines connected to it. Typically what we're seeing is that there's probably you know, a lot of the voice lines have gone to cellular or voice over IP or some of the other POS solutions may be more Wi-Fi oriented today. Some of the credit cards may be more wireless uh, solutions today, but there's going to be two to four things in that each location that's been sitting there just costing a lot of money, relying on analog phone, analog lines. They, they could, you could see immediate savings and have a lot more reliability, security, and visibility. For those of you that are on here, you wanna learn more about retail solutions? Well, um, the fact that you're on here means you at least have some interest in either POTS or retail or both. So what can you do to learn more? So uh, attending our webinars, uh, you're already making a great first step there. Uh, this is only our second POTS webinar, but we're seeing a ton of interest on this topic. So we're working to schedule more of them in the future. Uh, we've already had several retail webinars, all filled with great content. Um, like I said, we get a ton of, um, 
uh, a ton of feedback and uh, a lot of positive, uh, uh, I guess, yeah, feedback again on on these webinars. So we're gonna keep doing them as long as you guys keep uh, keep enjoying them. Um, oh, I skipped ahead there. Um, second, uh, outside of the webinars, we curate news, blogs, articles, press releases, etc., on a, a huge variety of topics. Uh, you can find all this information and more on our website, rcntechnologies.com. Um, a lot of um, uh, deep dives into specific topics too. So um, definitely take a look on there. You, you'll probably find something um, nice and applicable to your situation. Uh, and then lastly, keep up with us on social media. Uh, aside from information on more webinars and articles, things like that, uh, it's a great way to engage with us. If you have any questions or any advice or need any advice about your technology, anything like that, um, we're, we're pretty active on there. So uh, we'd love to, to chat with you. So um, next, Gary, would you like to tell them how uh, RCN can help? Yeah, so you know, typically um, we've had these webinars, Mark and I, we, we've been doing a lot around 5G. And mm -hmm. so this time we, we thought we'd step back to 1G and start with a solution that replaces the 1G and first generation telecommunications. So if you look at who we are and what we do, we're a 5G LTE network uh, en enablement specialist company. What does that mean? That means we understand what solutions and what benefits there are in the 5G network with, with our different partners that we have today from hardware to a carrier uh, relationship. We understand the benefits of LTE and how, how that can um, add value like in POTS line and, and some other areas. And then um, basically we wanna make sure that we can enable our customers to connect better. We will provide the right solution every time. We've got the experience, 110 years plus, I think I'm most of that experience. So we, um, we, we do have you know, a varied uh, diversity of customers uh, that we can work with. No customers too small, no customers too big for RCN. We will find that right solution every time when we engage with you. Absolutely, yeah, that, that brings us to here, uh, you know, that's, our guarantee right there, right? It's just that the right solution every time. But uh, yeah, I mean, we've got uh, a six step process. I mean, can you can you kind of talk to that a little bit? Yeah, so, you know, we've got a proven process of how we will work with any customer. Again, I don't, doesn't matter how small, medium, large, you know, we have a proven process. We're gonna connect with you. We wanna understand what you're trying to solve or what your pain points are. Uh, we want to make sure that we understand fully and we, we've seen a lot of situations. And so usually within a couple of minutes of the conversation, we'll, we'll have that. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. We've got three customers or four customers that really resemble what you're talking about. So we really want to make that connection. We want to define the, the, not only the, the, the issues, but also define the, the parameters of what you're trying to solve when you're trying to solve. And, and what is driving you to make this decision? And it's, you know, if it's a cost, is it support? Is it, what, what is keeping you up in, up in the morning or up at night whenever you fall asleep? You know, we wanna help define all the different parameters and all the different variables um, that you're seeing. Then we're gonna go back and design a, a, a solution that's right for you, whether it's the, um, hardware, whether it's the services, deployment, installation, provisioning. We have a lot of different services that we can tap into to help design the perfect best solution for you specifically. And then we're going to help you deploy it. We're either going to be your coach or we're going to be your players. However, whatever position you need us to play, we're going to play. We're either going to coach you through it or we're going to be the players and go do it on your behalf. So that's our deployment. And then we're going to empower you with this solution. We want you to make, be comfortable in what you're making an investment in. How is it going to work? How is it future proof? How, you know, what are the, some of the expectations that you can expect? Uh, what's the training that we can provide to make sure you understand how to use all the tools that we're putting together? And at the end of it, we want you to expect more. We expect more out of us. We want you to expect more out of us too. And then if you notice, it's a circle. It's surrounded by circles. We're going to come back around again and connect with you and go through the whole through process another time with you 
whenever that next project comes up, whatever that next challenge comes up, we're going to follow this process through and through. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we have a, a great process. I love the uh, the coach and teams analogy. I hadn't heard that or coach and players analogy. I hadn't heard that one before. We, but, we can uh, be the coach. We can be the player. Exactly. So say I am a retailer who's either wanting to replace my POTS lines or just have some uh, just some connectivity issues and think I, uh, you know, I can I can have a better solution. What uh, what should I do? So we've got a great team in place that really understands these solutions. They have great uh, focus on customer needs. Uh, we have a great team that is regionally based. They're out there in the market. Um, we can do a lot of different things with you with proof of concept, the demo, the, the goals and needs to make sure, you know, again, we're gonna use our proven process and, and really understand. You got my email address here. You've got my contact. Um, please reach out to me. I'll get you to one of my fine team members who can really provide that help and that guidance and either be the coach or either be the player for you when you're looking for these types of solutions. So uh, we've got our main number here. We got the info at rcntechnologies.com. My contact information here. Please feel free to pick up the phone or, or shoot me an email. We'll get you. Uh, we'll get you moving. We'll get you uh, addressed problems. We'll get everything moving for you and find that right solution each time and every time. Uh, I know I saw a couple pop through, and if you guys have any more questions, just drop them in the Q and A section over there on the side. Uh, but the first one is how reliable is the Pots over LTE solution? Yeah, I think well, one of the points we we made early is. Uh, you know, using certified enterprise grade solutions makes it extremely reliable. I and mean, look, there's a connection point. It is a wireless solution. But, you know, all of our carrier partners today, we're seeing great, uh, great coverage. T-Mobile, voice streaming, or T-Mobile, uh, AT&T and Verizon. I've been talking to some uh, past T-Mobile people, so I've got voice stream on my on my mind. But, you know, U.S. Cellular, all of our major carrier partners have great coverage and it's just as reliable using those type systems so the reliability is there and then we have the visibility to confirm that the reliability is there yeah absolutely um next question i'm seeing how likely is it that fcc will extend this deadline uh, we were talking about that earlier we're just a few days away from 13 months until the fcc says that no more analog uh, communication technologies. Gary, what's what's your thoughts on that? Have you have you read or seen anything? I, I haven't read or seen anything about that. I mean, let, let, let's be honest with ourselves here. It's the U.S. government. Do we does, <laughs> do any of us know how to predict what they're going to do at any given moment? Um, mm -hmm. You know, the FCC is always um, headed up by the, whoever's parties in in office at the time, and right. so not to get political, it can it can change at any given moment. But, you know, the FCC has some guidelines. They usually establish these things well in advance. And for the most part, they'll stick to them unless there's just a overwhelming need to continue down this path. And, you know, you have everyone has an interest in, in, into this uh, particular position. Everyone's going to lobby their position. We're just going to tell you right up front, regardless of whether it ends in the 2022, we can help you save money today. So the Absolutely. faster you get to this, the better off you're going to be. Yeah, and uh, this isn't something that was just you know like established by the FCC last year either. I, I know I've done some research on it in the past. I want to say the conversations with the FCC started like somewhere between 08 and 11, and then this specific date I want to say came about in like 2017 or something like that. So uh, it has been brewing for a little while. So uh, I'm actually pretty interested too to to see how it winds up. But yeah, those cost savings are. Uh, and the uh, the maintenance and the um, oh what was the third one the uh, um, the monitoring uh, are really pretty fantastic. Um, last question here: uh, How is your solution different from the other options available, Gary? I don't know that I've actually seen any other options. Uh, what's uh, what do you think? That's the question again. Uh, how is your solution different from the other options available? I think. The, the things that make us unique are one, our, uh, our history of putting together the right solution. I think that's one. And, and, and that's, you know, probably a, a high level, easy answer, but 
right. we're using again certified solutions. These are not um, th these are not proprietary solutions, and so. You know, I've done a lot of different solutions and, and products and stuff, and, and really the biggest challenge is a lot of people want to develop proprietary solutions for universal problems. When it's better to solve, to do a universal solution that solves a universal problem. And that's really what we've done. We've developed a universal solution, enterprise grade, that really addresses a universal problem. The challenge you get into proprietary solutions trying to address universal uh, problems are is at some point that that proprietary becomes outdated and right. so if you stick to true and tried technology and reliable technology that's certified reliable enterprise grade you, you're never going to you, you're going to be able to future proof your solution going forward mm -hmm. yeah and uh, i know we have uh, pretty fantastic customer service as well so you know even if even if you, you choose us and then you know maybe uh something isn't wasn't set up the way that you thought it would be or, or anything like that i mean we're, we're incredibly happy to just hop on out there and, and take a look at everything again and that's not always the case with uh, a lot of other companies for sure